Over the past 10 years, reading and math scores for public school students in our nation's large cities have been ticking upwards. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss the decade of progress and continued efforts to narrow the achievement gap. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. We are here on location in our nation's capital, where I'm joined by Michael Casterly, Executive Director of the Council of Great City Schools. Michael, it's always good to see you. Welcome. Nice to see you. So this is good news that in our nation's uh, cities, some of our nation, largest nation cities, in the urban school districts, the, uh, the overall achievement gap is improving, no? It is improving, and we're very encouraged by some of the latest results, particularly the uh, results on the national assessment, which is uh, the country's uh, best assessment and the most trustworthy and also the most rigorous. Um, and we've been participating in this assessment for the better part of 10 years now and uh, are really seeing very encouraging, very promising uh, trend lines. Uh, our achievement in mathematics in particular uh, is showing really substantial gains. The percentage of our kids that uh, are at proficiency levels or above uh, has increased by about 65% over that 10-year period, and our reading improvement has gone up about 35% as well. So we're really seeing substantial gains, and not only are these gains significant, uh, they are uh, far outpacing the gains that the nation is seeing across the board. So we're starting to see ourselves catching up with the country. Congratulations on that. Michael, what is the secret to success? Is it parent involvement? Is it more rigorous teaching standards? Is it more engagement at the student level? Or a combination of both or more transparency as it relates to test scores? What is it? Well, I think it's a combination of, uh, of things. I think, first of all, um, setting our expectations really high, improving uh, the standards uh, by which we teach our children uh, in the core subjects, uh, improving the rigor of our uh, instruction, uh, involving uh, parents and the community uh, in the schools. It's a whole combination of things, but schools have gotten a lot better over uh, the last decade or so uh, at putting those pieces together in ways that they had not done before. So it sounds like you, you're creating or you've created a culture of success. How do you maintain that culture of success, not only just in the inner city, but across all schools nationwide, number one, but also number two, how do you uh, create best practices so that other school districts can mimic your success? Well, one of the, the great things about a coalition like uh, uh, I participate in, the Council of the Great City Schools, is that uh, big city school districts all across the country are in regular contact with each other through this alliance uh, in a way uh, in which they share best practices and what works in, uh, uh, in their various uh, cities. So I'm, I'm encouraged by not only what everybody is learning from one another, uh, but uh, the tangible progress that we're uh, making. Now, for sure, we're not declaring victory. Uh, we're not uh, setting up parties all across the country, uh, but uh, we are encouraged uh, by the improvements that we're getting, and we're also optimistic uh, because we're figuring out why those improvements are being made. You know, Michael, we got about 45 seconds left. Just a few years ago, I remember reading and hearing and learning about schools such as Atlanta, Boston, D.C., Los Angeles and San Diego that had some of the poorest school districts in terms of test scores. But now I'm very pleased to report that those school districts are one of the best. Is that not correct in terms of test scores? Well, they're, uh, they're still below where they would like to be. Uh, but the school districts that you uh, just named are some of the most rapidly improving uh, urban school districts uh, in the country. And uh, there's no particular secret to what it is they're doing. Uh, what they're doing is putting into place uh, more rigorous uh, instruction, they're raising their standards, uh, they're being much more uh, detailed about their uh, instructional uh, program, and they're boosting the capacity of their staff to deliver better results. Excellent. Well, congratulations, and thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.